shape of its base. That way it's completely under control and you can't get away. The shearer starts the shearing by removing the belly wall. And the belly wall, once it's been removed, is kept separate from the rest of the wall. This is because the belly wall needs different processes than other walls. When a sheep lies down on its belly, it picks up a lot of rubbish off the ground. Mainly vegetable matter, such as grass seeds and birds and prickles, and this is very difficult to remove the wall. Then a commercial shearing shed, there will be more than one shearer. Usually four or five working together, and we call them a team of shearing. They'll start work at 7.30 in the morning, work for two hours, have a break and a cup of tea, work for another two hours, then so on for an eight hour day. So I'm onto the head now, and then the shoe is used around the sheep's head, so I'll be very careful of the eye of the head. The neck is the most difficult part of the sheep to shear, and as you see, the hand piece goes underneath the wall, and the shearer has to feel for the skin before he can open out the wall to see where he's going. In Australia, we shear mainly merino sheep, that is, breed the sheep, and merinos are very weakly and have a lot of loose skin all over their body, moving around the neck. And when you get your hair cut, it doesn't hurt. You look neat and tidy for a while, but as the hair continues to grow, it's more likely we to have it cut again. And it's the case for the sheep that we only shear the sheep once a year. Well 
Okay, now in the wool, there's a natural grease called lanolin. Now, lanolin is very good for our skin. You've probably all heard of it. That's because a lot of skincare products and ladies' cosmetics have lanolin in them. It's also very good for the sheep itself. As soon as we finish shearing a sheep, it produces a large amount of lanolin, which covers its whole body in grease. So that, and that, that, and that grease will protect the sheep from the weather and keep it warm and dry. Which means you can put the sheep outside as soon as you finish shearing it, any time of the year, even winter time. The sheep won't suffer at all. Now when I give the body of the sheep, I'll give it a good hard rub on the freshly cut wool. You'll be able to see the lanolin shining on my hands. And you see that? You certainly feel it, it's very greasy. And don't forget it's, it's good for your skin. So after the show, when the sheep, when it's back in the pen, if you want to, you can go in there. Go in there and give the sheep a good hard rub, just like I did. But then rub it all over your face. <laughs> so that lovely soft skin, it'll smell terrible. It'll smell really bad for that nice soft skin. As part of what we've got here is called a fleece. There are workers in the shearing sheds called roundabouts. Whereas about they're going to come along and pick up a piece of wool and I'll throw it onto a wool table. I'm going to demonstrate this just by throwing the fleece out of the pool so you can see it better. Wow. Spread it out a little bit. When I do, you'll be able to see how to Technique of shearing keeps all the wool together. It's like one big rug. Now this is important because when the rouse about, when the rouse about, when they throw out the fleece of wool from the wool table, all the short, dirty, greasy wool from around the edge of the fleece, underneath the legs here, this stuff all comes out to the edge of the, edge of the wool table. Makes it a lot easier for us to remove this wool with all this scurrying of fleece. So we start on the back leg, this is the back leg here. And if you just, you can probably see that dirty, greasy wool down the edge, that's what we're looking for. So we just go along, removing all that bad wool, working our way around the fleece. Now the reason we do this is to increase the value of the fleece. Because all these pieces that we're removing, they're far less valuable than the wool that's left behind. Now Australia has some of the finest wool in the world. It's what Australia is famous for. It's beautiful fleece wool here, this can be made into high quality clothing. Things like men's suits, ladies' jackets and evening wear, things that are all very expensive. This is how much wool a sheep can produce in one year. About five kilos. And there's enough wool here to make three complete men's suits. Now I'm going to go to a store and